Bless you. First thing I gave to you is a reading sign. Okay, we're going remote learning. Okay, I know what happens in remote learning. I understand what happens in remote learning. I ain't no dummy. Okay, but I'm not knowingly going to engage in any dishonorable behavior, cheat, steal, lie, or commit any act of plagiarism during my academic work, course, or endeavor. Evaluations will be completed by myself without the assistance from fellow students. If I observe an act which I believe violates the honor code, I may, at my discretion, report it to the appropriate personnel. Me. Okay. Please sign and date. We all know what is right and what is wrong. My expectations of you in this classroom is to do things honorably. Okay? That is my expectations that I have of you. That is, I would hope, be the expectations that you have of yourself. As I told my stats class for his period, you can always use this as a test of anything that you do in your life. Is the act that I'm doing right now, is it okay for it to be on the front page headlines of the Gazette or the Daily Record? If you're okay with whatever you're doing in your life, along with this class, to be on the headlines, go ahead and do it. If you feel that you're not okay and you'd be uncomfortable with that decision and it being on the headlines, maybe you should think second about doing it. Okay? This here is upon you now. You sign, you date this. It's going to be worth two points, freebie points on a quiz. I will add two points to your quizzes. Okay? But it's on you now. If you choose to do whatever you want to do and 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 not go and follow along with this, okay, I have no way of proving it. I have no way of stopping you. Once again, that's on you, not on me. You're signing and you're dating it, okay? You're going to tell me that I can do this. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there, okay? That's what expectations are. Is this all what we want? No. Okay. But it's our reality, and we have to work with our reality. But we'll make the best of what we have. This is a College Credit Plus class. For most of you, it's College Credit Plus. It is College Credit. We still have material we have to cover, and we will still cover them. Okay. We still have to cover. Like, we have a test that was supposed to be today. Okay. I will, I will put the test on tomorrow. Okay, and you'll have to uh, perform, the, you have to complete the test and submit to me. Okay, now, a couple ways of submitting. Once again, as you've done in the past, you've taken pictures. Your phone, if you have an iPhone, if you have an iPhone, if you go to notes on your iPhone, if you go to notes on your iPhone, um, on the notes of this, there is a scan feature. My notes. Okay, if you hit the bottom little box down there, additional notes. Okay. No, that's not it. That's how bad I am with technology. If you go to notes. Oh, hit the top arrows. Uh, select notes. I think it, there's like your little dots when you make a new one. Yeah. You press that. There's a way of doing it. You can. I've never done it before, but there's a way of scanning also. That's a little bit easier. Um, or you can take pictures. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you can submit it to my email or through Google Classroom. It's through the camera. It's through the camera. All right, that's fine. You guys figure it out. Okay. Whatever, however it comes to me, I will take care of it. I'm just saying scanning might be a little bit easier to you because it comes as one document to me rather than five different pictures. So it's a little bit easier. 
Okay. Uh, questions about the this. All right. I will collect them. And once again, you have two interest points. Add to your quizzes. Along with this, I'm not trying to question anybody's ethics and integrity. Okay, I'm not questioning that at all. I think we're all good kids here. We're all good students. And we're going to do things what we should be doing. But just in case something ever ventures into your brain, we're taken care of. The second thing I've given you, okay, I, I, I learned, uh, this is what I've learned. I, I, I'm learning, even though I'm older. Okay, I'm learning certain things. Okay, I've learned that I'm tired of getting the email. I don't have a printer. My ink's out of printer. Uh, my printer's not working. I cannot print. Everything is here now. No excuses. No, I can't print it all. Uh, no excuses now. It is here. Okay, the rest of this course. All the notes, all the worksheets are here. Okay, solutions will be provided to you, but once again, everything is here now. If I miss something, I'll miss something. I'm sorry, but I and I but I also understand your side of it. Also, um, if I'm printing off all this stuff, printer ink is expensive, and uh, I may not have enough ink. I get that. This here. Compliments of the school. This is to me. I relate this. This is an educational purpose. Um, I would be printing off these sheets anyways to you, so I'm printing them off and giving them to you early. So that will help you out. I also put them in order, hopefully in order of what we'll be doing. Like today, the review sheet is the top sheet. Okay, the review sheet, and then you just go all the way back. Then we have a review sheet for. Oh, this is the review sheet for the chapter. I'm sorry. I will hand out the review sheet today uh, for the quiz tomorrow. Okay, so I, I, we have a review sheet for the chapter test that we have to take also. Okay, then we will have our chapter four that we'll be dealing with. All right, so we still have two more things to do in this chapter to, uh, to accomplish. Okay, so I put them, once again, I put them in order in regard to hopefully everything will be intact. Um, we meet every Tuesday, Thursday, but Friday will be an option also. I will alert you to that, but Friday will be an option. If I need to cover material, I need to cover material. Okay. Now, I will shorten the time period down. I won't do the hour and 20 minute block that we have originally. I will shorten that period down if I need to have, utilize that, but I will alert you that that's what we're doing. Because my goal ultimately is, once again, I would like to try to get this accomplished before break. Okay, rather than coming back after break and then having a final, because we have to take a final in this class. Okay, so that that's my goal is to hopefully get to that. And then when we come back from break, then we don't have nothing that we really have to do at that point. Okay. Questions you have? I will try to make this as easy and painless as possible for you, but um, once again, it has to come a little bit my way also. You need to keep up with the material. It's sometimes tough to do that. Been a part of online learning for quite a while. I used to teach online learning uh, to another entity. And what I noticed on that was it's a little bit more difficult to keep things there, keep moving forward. You need to keep up with the material. I'm going to take attendance every morning on Tuesday, Thursdays. I will take attendance in here. Okay, once we take attendance, please turn off your mic and turn off your camera. Okay, if Rover's barking in the background, I don't care what Rover's saying. <laughs> 
what I will do is I will Google Meet and I will screencastify it. Okay, so you'll go into a Google Meet session. I will screencastify. So it will capture it also. So if you're if something comes up and you're unable to attend because you're sick or whatever, you'll be able to screencastify. It's just like having a, a YouTube video. The only difference is you won't be able to see me. Sorry. I'll see you at the initial when I take attendance. Please make sure you show your faces if you can. This is all new to me too, so bear with me as I go through this. I'm hoping I figured it out. That's a hope. Okay, uh, eight class assignment from uh, Monday. Um, first one, yes, it is. I uh, take it through. Make sure you keep your make your, sure you get enough space in there. Make sure you get enough space so you can. You can you have enough room. Um, you drop your one down. You got four i negative five plus four i. Then you have negative twenty i plus sixteen i squared. The sixteens cancel. It turns into negative sixteen. Um, then you have negative twenty i times four i. It's negative eighty i squared, which turns into a positive eighty, which is zero. Uh, number two, we have a degree of six. Okay, so that means you have six solutions here. We have a root of we have a root of 13, so we have the x minus 13. We're good with that. Okay, we had a root of 5, x minus 5. We have a multiplicity of 3. Okay, but then we didn't know what to do with the negative 7i. Okay, if you look back into your notes, if you look into your notes, if we have negative 7i as a root, what other root do we have there? If negative 7i is there, what's the other one? Positive 7i. So if we have x minus 7i there, that means we have to have an x plus 7i as a root. Because we have to ultimately, we have a degree of 1, we have a degree of 3, we have four solutions here. We have to have a degree of 6. So if I multiply this out, we get x squared minus 7i plus 7i and minus 49i squared. Well, the plus or minus 7i's go bye-bye. Negative 7i squared turns into a plus 7 or plus 49. So our other factor is x squared plus 49. Where if I would set this equal to zero, x squared plus 49 is equal to zero, I subtract my 49 from both sides, so we have x squared is equal to negative 49. Then we take the square root of both sides and we get plus or minus 7i. Number three, three we did okay, we were fine with number three. Need to factor out an x though because that gives us a barrier. We have x, x minus two, x plus one. Um, barriers at negative 1, 0, and 2. We go false, true, false, true. Uh, X is a member of negative 1 to 0, bracket on both ends, union 2 to positive infinity and beyond, bracket to 2, parenthesis at positive infinity. Number 3, vertical asymptotes occur where the value that we have to eliminate from our domain. Okay, so X cannot equal 3. So we have a vertical asymptote of X equals 3. X intercepts and what makes our numerator equal to zero? We have P of X is equal to X squared plus 3X plus 2 over X minus 3. We have a numerator and a denominator of X. Whatever makes this equal to zero, we have vertical asymptotes. Whatever makes the top equal to zero, we have x-intercepts. So whatever makes our top equal to zero, which is x uh, factors x plus 2, x plus 3, x equals negative 2 and negative 1. We, what makes our bottom equal to zero? x equals 3, that's our vertical asymptote. 
Y intercept, Y intercept. Uh, we put X in for, or zero in for X. We put zero in for X, solve for Y, we get negative two thirds. Okay, uh, oblique asymptote. You divide the bottom by the top. If you have one, you divide the bottom by the top. Whatever your quotient is, that's your oblique asymptote. Well, it turns into x plus 6 with a remainder of 20. The remainder, you just say bye by 2. So we have y equals x plus 6. That's our oblique asymptote. And make sure you get both sections in there. We have vertical asymptote of x equals 3. We have an oblique asymptote at y equals x plus 6. So we have a y-intercept at 6. We go up 1 to the right 1. So our oblique asymptote. Over here. We have x intercepts at negative 2 and negative 1. We have a y intercept at negative 2 thirds. So I need to be asymptotic and asymptotic here. But I need to deal with this section up here also. I have no other x intercepts. So I need to get my other section up there. Any questions? Once again, I will post a quiz tomorrow. I guess we're supposed to have class tomorrow. This class is Tuesday, Thursday. Okay, tomorrow we'll have a quiz. I will post. I'm pretty sure we're tomorrow. post tomorrow. What will be posted on Friday is I'll just post the review sheet. Uh, I'll post the review sheet um, for the chapter on Friday. Um, and then then What I wouldn't mind doing is posting chapter tests on Monday then for you, um, but give you a little bit more time to be able to accomplish that, because I know you'll have other classes that you'll have the, your stuff dealing with also. Just, they'll, they'll be posted Monday, or I may give it Tuesday. I, I don't want to get in trouble. All 
I will post it Tuesday. Uh, but expect that you'll have class next Friday also. Okay, I will post it on Tuesday. Um, and, and once again, like I said, just expect um, you'll have class next Friday also. Just to, we need to cover. Chapter 4 is not a long chapter. Um, it's on logarithms. Uh, but we have material that we need to get through in the last chapter. So uh, expect Tuesday. I'll, I'll post the review sheet tomorrow along with the solutions. And then Tuesday, we'll, the chapter test will be posted. Questions you have? I know it's a lot. I've tried to make it a little bit easier for you by printing out stuff so you don't have to worry about printing stuff. You can just go to the next thing in the packet to pull it out. Once again, I guess I don't even need to post the review sheet. The review sheet is here. But what you should work on tomorrow, on Friday, that is your review sheet. Okay, I'll post the solutions on Friday uh, to the review sheet. Uh, but once again, everything is here. The review sheet is two different pages here, so it's, it's both, both pages. And then next week when we start with our logarithms, um, all the notes are there for you and the worksheets are there. Questions? Okie dokie, rest of time is yours.